And so begins episode 4 of the Skeleton Brawler, as I move through the Star Dungeons, all of them. So, Harvard Gloom and the Rolorn Camp are all that remains. And we got ourselves the regular Harvard Gloom. I love these gloves. Let's run from the Creeping Darkness for a little bit. Do, 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 do. Teleporting plants, who knew? There's lots of stuff here I don't want to be des dealing with, so we're just going to back off for a bit. I should take a lot of damage. Or I shouldn't say a lot of damage is enough. Spain backhand, kill those. Looks like the friend of ours is over there. No, oh, they tore from my shield already. Hit you in the face. Okay, I'm getting lots of diseases put on me. That's actually kind of threatening me a little bit, so let's just start backing off. So those plants are doing the diseases on me. Uh, we can take a couple hits. Then we can do this. Hey, there's the withering thing. Hello. Gonna come and say hi? I know you see me. Come and play. There he is. And he jumped right next to me. Put this on. Hit you in the face. Hit you in the face again. Stun you. That's the nice thing about the stun. You can keep attacking the same opponents with it. The nice thing about the dazing, um, I'll go. Actually, you know, what, let's talk about my finishing moves I have on brawlers. I'm at, I'm looking. I'm looking at all these stuff here, and they all have like really um, distinct, like, and powerful abilities that come with them. The body shot, the, the stamp drain, I'm not sure that's going to count, but yeah, that'd be useful too. But the main thing about body shot is that you can daze the target, and dazes will pin a target to the ground, and it'll just make it a whole lot easier to manage for like the you know, next little bit, so um, right now the damage is going to scale up, but later on, body shot will be useful because I can pin something to the ground, it won't hurt me as much as it hits me, and it will, um, you know, if I run away from it, it's melee only, it won't be able to pursue or do anything with me, so... Very powerful um, defensive type of, uh, you know, maneuver. Concussive uh, Punch is obviously an AoE. There's not, not more to explain about that. It hits everything around it. Uppercut is more of like, you know, a detriment to whoever you're attacking. So if I'm going after a boss that's um, stunnable, I can stun it and then like keep pulverizing with it. And, you know, we'll just like cram like its skull into his brain and all that basically. And it's a very powerful uh, offensive ability, Uppercut. And then we have, you know, Haymaker, which is sort of a finishing finishing finisher. If your target ends up low enough, it might be instantly killed. Death blow, pretty much. And killing a target will instantly restore some of your maximum stamina, depending on the amount of combo points you've accumulated. Hooray! Alright, so... That's all that stuff. I love getting pinned over and over again. Wee! All I've got to go all these crappy guys. Let's do this. And that. Move forward. Move forward. Move forward. And we'll go like this. Hit you in the face. Hit you in the face. All dead. And that is it for this level. I'm going to keep the wording orbs because uh, I am Lee and 
This is a very good offensive item, actually. But I'm keeping it more so for the fact that, you know, I can use it to... Um, basically, I can use that... Oh, what can I say about... I can basically see invisible things and hit them harder. That's not exactly correct, but it's close enough. Let's just get going here. We got some deformed war bears. We'll kill them easily enough. Interesting little guys jumping on top of me there. I love how the plants keep blindsiding me. It's one interesting thing about the plants, I guess, in here. They have the ability to blindside like most cursed do. Actually makes the plants more threatening because the, you can't exactly, you know, run away from them if they're hanging in the face. Eh, that's... I'm, I'm gonna eventually need a fire ring, but I don't need them just yet. Won't need them for a long while. Let's compare this to the other thing. I think the physical resistance is more beneficial than this for a moment. That gives me 41 health. Yeah, 41 health is fairly good. Mm. But yeah, we'll, we'll keep the summertime file. All right, well, let's see. We got ourselves a pair of gloves. It has weaker base power. It does give me five da damage of darkness per hit. And that umbral chance, but for the most part, this is just not strong enough to really compare to the other one. Accuracy is nice, though. That, that reminds me, I have to get accuracy when I remember to upgrade this character. Confusion by Gloom. Let's do a spinning backhand here. Pop. Oh, this is fun. And... We have cleared this dungeon almost. Now, that's the nice thing about the Harvard Gloom. It's so easy to clear this dungeon. Nope, don't need you. Confusion immunity is nice. I think we might want well, to look at that at least. So I got myself Copper Ring of Clarity and Sensing here. You know, I'm thinking about, this is a useful ring, but it's not going to be useful until I get to the Halfling Ruins. Well, I suppose, you know, these will be more useful until I get to the Halfling Ruins, to be honest. So let's take this off. I'm going to put on the Linus for now. And there's Harvard Gloom out of the way. That's all, all to do now is a Relorn Camp. So why not, let's just book it down there. It's too easy for me. Eh, spinning backhand. Okay, we got ourselves this guy up here to worry about. Let's put this on. Okay, he's shooting me of stuff, and it's doing lots of damage. Lots and lots of damage. Rush him. This guy's a rogue, I think. Or... Rangers can also have traps, I guess. So it could be a rogue, but it's probably not. Hit you with this, stun you, you're dead. And I don't care about your pick. Well, 
Or your armor. What's with all the spinning spiders? I do not know. Alright, we got some gauntlets of strength to look at. Gauntlets of strength. These give me base power 15 to 21 with the reduced attack speed. And I get an accuracy bonus, an armor penetration free, and all that other stuff. These could be useful, but right now the ability to you know hit with like Moonlight Ray is more useful for me, I think. So I, I, I like that base power, to be honest. It is really nice base power in these gloves. Let's just try these out and see if they they hit hard enough to make them worth it. Okay, that's pretty hard to hit. Hang pretty hard. Okay, let's do this. I don't like burning hex on me because that means my talent cooldowns are gonna hurt me a little bit. But I got bone shield and I'll just you know make use of it now. Well, he died pretty quick. Yeah, I'm hitting pretty damn hard with these gloves. Very, very hard. How much am I doing with the umbral gloves? I'm picking up lots of stuff. I should probably look at some of this too. Let's go find something to beat up. That's going to be one of these guys. Alright, so... Considerably less damage with these gloves when I'm not proccing the uh, Moonlight Ray at 20% chance. So, yeah, I think we'll keep the Gauntlet's Strength on. Because sometimes more damage is better than repeated hits. Repeating hits are only useful some of the time. Sometimes a big hit is just all that's necessary to kill stuff. Well, I didn't mean to go that way, but whatever. Let's do this. Let's do spinning backhand. Hit you in the face. Let's do stunning blow. Rush and dazer. And... You're out of the way. Got the unerring scalpel, but of course that's a weapon, and I can't use those on a um, weaponist type character like this is. I don't need it for anything else. Let's just ignore it. So I'm level 12. That's very nice. And I got myself reassemble. That's also nice. Let's get that now. And then I'll start worrying about combat accuracy. All right, um, let's get this to four so I can get the extra combo points when I hit stuff. And let's get strength sort of maxed out a little bit more. I'm probably erasing strength much more than I need to at this point, but whatever. I feel like doing it. So there's a certain pattern to how you should level these characters, like obviously this should have some more cunning than it has right now. Especially since it has that unarmed com um, combat master who requires cunning. But whatever, let's just keep boosting strength, because I feel like it. And I'm playing this character how, how, how I feel like it. Not what's optimal. I don't usually need to play optimal to uh, play a game either. Whoa! That hurt a little bit. Should probably move reassemble over here, just so actually do this a little bit. You know, even though I don't have heat beam ruin, I do have some fairly good defensive options. I will say that.
Let's do spin back and. The stairs. For a moment there, I forgot what if I was going up or down. It's a bad thing about going up and down with like you know you're too uh, advanced for this dungeon. We're just gonna put you on level three. Out of the way. Hey, a giant spider. So I got the spinneret for one of those. I don't need it, but perhaps I will in the near future. Who knows? Ah, uh, let's wait for him to come. I'll beat this guy up. Okay, this is gonna be kind of uh, dangerous, but whatever. Let's just go like this. And we'll rush him. And then there's this guy up here. Kill his alchemist, because you know, we love to kill alchemists. Didn't even know that guy was an alchemist. I killed him too fast to find out. Well, let's go here, and we'll get ourselves... Um... He's a uh, Wormick, this guy, I think. I mean, this guy's still mage. That's all I need to know about him. Okay, let's go like this. Let's just do... Body shot to you, so you're dazed for a little bit. And then let's go hit you in the face. That worked out well. All right, so that's the Lauren camp. Hey, look at that! There's a increase to talent mastery pugilism as I want. That's actually not a bad uh, um, ammo, but I don't think it'll beat out. Uh, have been passing me for a long, long time, so we won't worry about it. This is a really nice thing for skeletons. If I was playing a, a character that didn't need to heal so much, or you know, whatever, I, I might use that, but whatever, we won't worry about it too much. Alright, well, let's just um, book it from this dungeon. So at this point, we've gone through all the uh, newbie areas except one, and that's the lumberjack. The lumberjack must be die. Why must he die? Because he must. And that's all that needs to be known. What a crappy phase door, but oh well. Lumberjack fell's dead. Okay, where is it? Well, you're injured, so... Well, there he is. Hello. And he uh, ran right up over to me, but whatever. Do reckless charge to us. Let's do this. A little bit annoying, but oh well. Let's just hit him in the face. You gotta watch that gloom. It can really hurt if you're not careful. All right. Um. Body shot. And he's dead. He wasn't too tough. We.
Don't know why I'm looking around. Don't know what I'm going to find. But whatever. So, all the newbie stuff is out of the way. And now I'm wondering what I'm going to do next, but... I have a fairly good idea what I'm going to do next. So this character is getting along fairly well. And I think we'll do the Ruined Dungeon. And the reason we're going to do a Ruined Dungeon is because we may... You're find a Naga for, you know, the Ruined Dungeon, or we might find other stuff for the Brotherhood of Alchemist I need. So stuff I'm looking for here is the White, the Black Mamba, the Naga, the Orc, the Fire Worm, which I hope don't find, but whatever. Failing Fang and Zorn, Electric Eel, and that's it for the current wave of stuff. The river flows in the best stone, so it's the old, the old one, the old cold code that I need to do to get the uh, things unlocked. Hey, look, there's our Orky friend. That's a Weaver, not one after. You know, I've yet to try this out. I should see how um, that works and if it's anything more than just a heal or anything else. Um, you're out of the way. Delish form burns all it lives. Go over there and explore that, please. All right, let's go here. Why we go here? Because I felt like it. And that's a rare bork. Okay, you're out of the way. Let's do spin back hand. Ouch! That is shield pummel. And for some reason, I got cursed. The guardian down here is some sort of thing that curses, obviously. Uh, let's do this, and we'll speed up. Yeah, there's something down there that's able to curse us, so... I don't want to stick around here. We're just going to back off. It did repulsion. Very good of it. Back off again. And... Well, it rushed us, but that's fine. Let's see here. I'm not too scared of this guy, so let's try dazing it, and he's blocking, that's fine, we'll unblock. Alright, there's the uh, Guardian, who I want to be very careful of, because he can curse and do other crap I don't want him to do. I can't really go through these guys, so here's the bad thing. I'm sort of stuck between a uh, wolf and not being able to hit this guy. Let's back off. You're no longer blocking, so it's hit you normally. Why am I not doing this? There. I wasn't in stri um, striking stance, so I actually disabled my striking stance thing. One of these guys, I think it was this, this guy here. Not sure. Let's just do... Damn it, I missed the concussive punch. Kill the wolf. Make him pay for... Make me feel that. And I'm pinned! Why not? I bet from this guy. And you can see his poison. I'm still pinned, I can't move. Ow. Ray form, why not? Be annoying. Cast drain on me. Well, let's see here. Let's just jump up to you with spinning backhand. Used the uh, thing there. He pinned me again with web, but whatever. Let's, um. Come a body shot that'll daze him. We'll do. Reassemble the heal up just in case, so. It is a simple heal, by the looks of it. Let's, um. Do another. Okay, he's out of the way. That was a little bit fun. Two rares at once. One um, randomly jar, one not. All 
Alright, nothing good here. By the way, I can't regenerate mana. I don't have any mana regenerating items, so... Premonition is off for the moment. Figured I'd point that out. So this is sort of important to know. Wormix! Ouch! Oh shoot, I might be dead here. Um... Wow, that was close. Gotta love confusion, it can't hurt. Heal up. Ow. It pinned me. Oh, let's rush him. Right, don't um, take, you know, Wormix for granted if you're next to him like that and you have no confusion immunity and they can kick your ass. Important lessons to learn from Davian. I'm very lucky I didn't die there. Is that the Guardian? Nope, that's just a regular rare, but it hurting. Put that on. And like that. He stunned me, the bastard. Let's do this. Okay, you're an arcane blade, so. Hit you with that. And we'll daze you. Didn't daze him. Oh well. So, this is actually a really weak heal reassemble. This is even more powerful, I think. Very good to note. There's the Guardian, it's a, you know, regular guy. Let's do... Alright, that's all the way. Slow by the gloom, why not? Do that regular stuff. Damn white snake. I've actually got to watch these because I don't have them available and this guy could hurt. Let's, um. No, we won't do that. We'll just uh, stun him if possible and we'll try and finish him off quickly. Um. There, that worked out well. Ouch. Well, he's out of the way. I've almost got the shields back. Okay, we got another Wormick to worry about, so be very careful of him. So I'm gonna get, you know... Well, I suppose I don't want to worry about him as much, because he's an icy one, not gonna confuse me. He's not gonna confuse me like the other one. Let's do that. They're out of the way. Thump, 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 and they're all dead. Couple uh, dangerous moments there, but oh well. Nothing that killed me. Ow. Wow, that's hurting a little bit. I've almost leveled up though, so I'm quite happy about that. You know, spinning backhand isn't doing as much damage as I figure it would. It seems like, you know, this isn't doing as much damage as I figure it would because, you know, I walk up, I hit them for like 142 damage. Well, I suppose that's not a high enough HP target to demonstrate on. All right, let's try and get our accuracy up a little bit by now. A little bit more combat accuracy. And a bit more strength. And another one of body shot. Great! 
another war shout or, you know, confusing billing roar type of thing. Um, you know what? We've cleared both sides here, so let's just do... That's not good. Good, that went off. Um, let's do that. This guy is hurting. He is hurting, but he's about to die for it. Won't be draining it a little bit, but whatever. Let's just do uppercut, body shot. Use all offense, but no defense. I'll put this on. Hey, an Umber Hulk, or that's not Umber Hulk, that's a uh, Umber Hulk. There's our Zorn Fragment. So I got one of the Grimly's ingredients there. I've also got the Orc Heart here, but I need that Naga Tongue. If I don't find Naga here, then it'll be a long while before I find one. One moment, someone's calling, so I'm just gonna pause the recording. All right, let's continue. I actually know something, by the way. I leveled up, which means I got my mana back. Premonition is back on. Well, he came out of nowhere. Put that on. He's out of the way. All right, we got a bit of ice there. Let's just back off. And it looks like we found our first white. So the Guardian is white, and he's going to give me my lovely stuff I need from him. And he's got striking assist. This guy's a brawler, I think. It's brawler on brawler action. Let's see here. So yeah, he's got double strike. Yeah, I've got double strike. We're brawlers. Brawler buddies. And he just hit me in the face with a uh, disease. How nice of him. The only bad thing about the sun is that it reduced my damage. But... Eh, whatever. Try stunning him. And we will... Back off for a bit. We're both stunned there for now, but... Double strike him. Oh, he's got a lot of combos on him. I've never watched if he does a finishing move on me. Let's do a daze on him. Well, he's off. Bit brawler on brawler action that was. Let's go this way. Okay, that room's clear. Alright, something just confused me. It looks like it was him. He also just slowed me, too. Put that on. You know, I think I should have had Confusion Immunity on for in here. There's the Guardian. It's not cursed. Do that. Kill you. Rush him. Double strike him. Stun him. Body shot him. And he's actually gone through my uh, shield already. So he is expected these hacksings do hurt. And the last guardian. The last guardian is another bulwark or someone who uses shield wall. Put this on. Ooh, this guy's coming. This is this is actually a fairly decent defensive uh, thing to worry about, these guys. Let's do this. Back off. I don't want to be facing them all at once. 
He disarmed me, but guess what? There's a little problem with him disarming me. I don't have a, a weapon to be uh, disarmed. <laughs> so let's make him uh, pay for his insolence. And with that, stun him. He's out of the way. Alright, I'm almost up to maximum combo. I don't think I can get uh, more than five combo unless you do other stuff. Let's get this going. We'll just rush you. Let's go for a quick stun, and it failed. And he's blocking. How nice of him. Back up. Not blocking anymore. Oh, got one hit on him. Got a couple more hits on him. And I dazed him. Or I tried to, but, you know, it didn't work. Back off a little bit more. I'm actually waiting for my... Shield to come sort of like back at this point. Chilling ruin. Gotta play, play carefully, you know. Oh, he blocked. I wasn't paying attention. Well, you know, he can blind me. How nice of him. My shield's gone too. Uh. Ow. Do that. I'll wait for the bone shield to come back. Alright, let's do double strike. Um. And I failed my stun while he got off his. Yeah, that's getting repetitive. Back off, back off. Wow, he's gone through my defenses again. And I keep getting these counter strikes off constantly on myself. That shield pummel is almost as bad as um, stunning blow when used by CPUs. Well, he rushed me there. They didn't daze me. Alright, I need to get myself out of here now. And that's not helping me. I might die here because phase door is crap. And because this guy's faster than me, and because I don't have any, you know, way of healing or shielding myself. And there we go. Well, that's one thing to note, I guess, about uh, Bulwarks. They can eventually kill you if, you know, you can't get through their defenses. And I couldn't. But more or less, I'm sort of happy. I did get to show you the Brawler a little bit, you know, basically those combos and stuff like that. I would like to go, go a little bit farther in this, but... That's enough, you know, to show off what the Brawler Sword is capable of. Hopefully the next one does a little bit better. I think the next one I have on my list was the Ghoul Paradox Mage. And then after that we'll have some sort of skeleton comic which I'll have yet to decide, but we'll see. Take care for now.